Albert Einstein once said, the most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and science. This idea lies at the heart of one of the most remarkable stories in the history of space exploration, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 has traveled farther than any other human-made object, reaching interstellar space, a realm previously thought impossible to explore directly. Just think about it. A machine built nearly half a century ago, using technology older than a cassette player, is still alive and sending valuable data back to Earth. That's not just persistence, that's a testament to human ingenuity. The original mission was only meant to last four years, but Voyager 1 has outlived its expected lifespan more than tenfold. This little spacecraft is now over 14 billion miles away, and still it whispers to us across the cosmic void. The Voyager program began as a response to a rare planetary alignment that happens only once every 176 years. NASA scientist Gary Flandro discovered in the late 1960s that Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would line up in a way that a single spacecraft could visit them all. This phenomenon, known as gravity assist, would allow the probe to use each planet's gravity to slingshot itself to the next destination, gaining speed without using fuel. Seizing this rare opportunity, NASA launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 just 15 days apart in 1977. Their goal was to take advantage of this alignment to explore the outer planets of our solar system. What happened next exceeded even the boldest expectations. These spacecraft have now traveled farther than any object humanity has ever sent out into space. Voyager 1's first major stop was Jupiter, where it took breathtaking photos of the planet's swelling atmosphere and discovered active volcanoes on its moon Io, the first time volcanic activity had ever been seen beyond Earth. Then it moved on to Saturn, capturing stunning images of its iconic rings and revealing previously unknown structures within them. Voyager 2, its twin, made history by becoming the only spacecraft to ever fly by Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These encounters provided the first close-up views of these distant blue giants and revealed astonishing facts, like Neptune's unexpected winds, some of the fastest in the solar system, and Uranus's bizarre tilted axis. By the early 1990s, both probes had completed the grand tour of the outer planets. Most missions would have ended there, but NASA decided to continue listening. And it paid off. Voyager 1 continued its trek outward, and in August 2012, it crossed a region called the Heliopause, officially entering into stellar space. The Heliopause is the boundary where the sun's influence ends, and the interstellar medium begins. It's a kind of invisible frontier, separating our solar system from the wider galaxy. Scientists had long predicted that crossing it would bring a dramatic change in the magnetic field, but Voyager 1 didn't detect this. Instead, the big clue came from a sudden spike in plasma density, suggesting the spacecraft had left the sun's protective bubble. This puzzling result sparked intense debate in the scientific community. If the magnetic field didn't change, what does that say about the nature of the boundary between solar and interstellar space? Some theorized that the solar magnetic field and the interstellar magnetic field might be aligned more closely than expected, causing a smooth transition rather than an abrupt change. Others speculated that Voyager 1 was in a transition zone, a murky region where solar and galactic influences blend. The exact nature of the heliopause remains uncertain. But one thing is clear, Voyager 1 is giving us our first direct glimpse into this uncharted region. And it's full of surprises. For instance, data from Voyager 1 revealed that interstellar space isn't the calm, empty vacuum once imagined. Instead, it's filled with plasma clouds, dense pockets of charged particles that vary in temperature, density, and composition. These clouds may be remnants of ancient supernovae, the exploded remains of stars that once burned bright millions of years ago. This suggests that the interstellar medium, the material that fills the space between stars, is shaped by catastrophic events, not gentle flows. It's a cosmic battlefield, rich with history, and Voyager is sailing through it. In fact, within just a week of observations, Voyager recorded drastic shifts in plasma conditions, moving from hot, dense regions to colder, sparse ones. Each fluctuation told a different story, like layers of paint revealing a galactic past. Scientists started referring to these regions as plasma clouds, with unique characteristics and possibly even magnetic structures formed long ago. 
some clouds aligned with known locations of ancient supernovae, suggesting that Voyager might be moving through the fossilized echoes of dead stars. And yet, Voyager does all this with just 69 kilobytes of memory, less than what a basic calculator today might have. Its computer system, built in the 1970s, has to manage every operation, every transmission, and every observation on its own. Data is stored on eight track tape recorders and transmitted to Earth using a signal no stronger than a refrigerator light bulb. Despite this, Voyager has managed to stay operational for nearly five decades. It relies on a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, RTG, which converts heat from the decay of plutonium into electricity. Over time, this power source has weakened, but NASA engineers have cleverly turned off non-essential systems to conserve energy. Still, Voyager's signal grows fainter each year. Communicating with Voyager is like talking to a grain of sand on the moon, and yet we still hear from it. The Deep Space Network, DSN, a series of large antennas located around the world, listens for Voyager's tiny signal. These dishes must be incredibly sensitive to detect such a faint whisper from the edge of the galaxy. Even more amazing, the probe sends data using radio waves, traveling at the speed of light, but now with a delay of over 22 hours each way. That means it takes nearly a full day for a command from Earth to reach Voyager, and another day for its response to return. Yet, this communication loop continues, slow but steady. As Voyager continues to explore, it encounters new mysteries. Some recent data has shown irregularities in cosmic ray levels and plasma density. These variations are helping scientists build more accurate models of how our solar system interacts with the galaxy. Each new bit of information from Voyager adds a small piece to a very large puzzle. According to Ed Stone, the mission's longtime project scientist, Voyager is our silent ambassador to the stars. And it's hard to disagree. This tiny spacecraft carries with it a golden record, a time capsule containing music, greetings, and sounds from Earth, meant to represent our planet to any alien life that might one day find it. The golden record includes music by Bach and Beethoven, greetings in 55 languages, and even the sound of a human heartbeat. It's a symbolic gesture, a message in a bottle sent across a cosmic ocean. Whether it's ever found or not, it represents humanity's hope, curiosity, and imagination. Other scientists have weighed in on the impact of the Voyager mission. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson once called it, one of the most ambitious and successful missions NASA has ever conducted. Renowned scientist Carl Sagan, who helped create the Golden Record, said the mission showed us that, we are a way for the cosmos to know itself. As we move into an age of Mars rovers, space telescopes, and moon missions, Voyager reminds us that exploration isn't just about destinations. It's about the journey, about stretching the limits of what we know and can do. Voyager has no more planets to visit, no more slingshots to ride. It just keeps going, driven by momentum and curiosity. And its discoveries keep coming. The data it collects might one day help us understand how stars form, how galaxies evolve, or even how life might begin elsewhere. We still don't know what lies ahead in Voyager's path. But every day, it moves a little closer to the unknown, and every signal it sends back is a step into a new frontier. Even now, Voyager teaches us something profound. That distance doesn't silence discovery. That the past can still speak to the future. And that sometimes, the simplest tools, a tiny spacecraft, a weak radio signal, can unlock the greatest mysteries. As Voyager drifts deeper into the cosmic sea, it may eventually go silent. Its power source will die, its instruments will cool, and its voice will fade. But even then, it will continue its journey. In a billion years, it might pass near another star, still carrying that golden record, a silent witness to a planet that once dreamed of the stars. We may never hear from Voyager again. But it will always be a part of our story. A marker of where we've been and a hint of where we're going. As Carl Sagan said, exploration is in our nature. We began as wanderers, and we are wanderers still. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.